And so it begins. The beginning of the end. Potentially. Fresh out of the Glitter Tech mod, we have a raid from the Commando faction. One of maybe the most overpowered factions out there. I would say falling slightly before Void. And a lot of people asked yesterday, surely you'll be fine. You have armor with 400% defenses across the board. Sharp, blunt, whatever it happens to be. Yeah, these guns that they're apparently dual wielding are 120% armor penetration. And any of the red weapons that you see, light them on fire. So this is going to be one hell of a showdown. But if we win, if we win, the rewards will be absolutely massive. This mod pack was always intended as a way of exploring the most overpowered mods whilst trying to balance it with the, obviously, tech progression, the faster aging characters, and the limitation of melee only. This is one of the mods that I was thinking of when I was trying to balance things because they have those speed skin suits, 400% work speed, 400% movement speed. And we just have a bunch of melee characters in flak armor. Now, to be clear, I don't think we'll be completely wiped out. But I do think... I do think they're pretty formidable. <laughs> Look at how fast they move. Are they avoiding the kill box? Some of them are. Some of them aren't. And that makes things a bit more questionable. I'm desperately looking for a hole in the wall, something I might have missed, but there isn't anything. They're just going to try and kick it down. Oh, they've changed their mind. They're going back through the kill box now. I bet it was where the robots were opening the doors. They saw a path to take and they were trying to take it. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay. This is it. Oh my God. They are annihilating the barbed wire. Okay. Maybe that's not super practical then. We could... We, we might find about to use stone chunks, trees, something like that to try and slow them down. Okay. Here they come. Get ready, squad. Get ready. Let them pass a little bit further. Let them pass. When Priscilla goes across, we'll bring Bonce and Jones out, and then we'll bring these guys out. Okay, here we go. Move those in. Move these two in. That way, these guys can take out these two. These ones can focus on these two. We'll have to move Kipos and Cake Denta back again. As for here, let three of them go through. Nice, 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 nice. Incredible work. Good shit. Now we have to back off before they get horribly shot and murdered. Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That was close. <laughs> this is too much micromanagement. This is insane. Nice. Good kills. Good kills. Okay. Get back again. Get back. Oh, this is so high tier. Get him. You come in now. Nice work back off. I think the middle section is probably never going to be used. It might in the occasion that we get a full 50 man raid. If that was the case, then they might be two blocks up here that the others might choose to go through the center. I might even straight remove the center. Focus on bringing them through either. That way we're still dividing them by half, right? So let's, let's bring you to here. Or let's bring you to here. And then I'm going to put these guys here and here just in case they do choose to go down the center. Okay, get back, get back, get back. Okay, nice work. Oh, no, shit. It's not ideal. Let's say they've decided to steal what they can and leave. Holy crap. Get in there. Help them out. Help them out. Great punch. Look at that. Well, they are really piling up now. Okay, okay, this is a second. Get ready. This is the problem with raids, though. If they have such expensive gear, they'll see their own items on the floor and think, damn, free items. They've, their bodies are blocking open the door. They're through, they're through, they're through. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Bring home here. Bring you down. Oh, shit. <gasps> Kipos is gone. Fucking hell, that was fast. The second we lost a little bit of the line, someone's dead. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty awful, to be honest. I was expecting we would not immediately start facing losses. Oh, Bonds. Okay, this is fucked. These guys are way stronger than I thought they would be. Cope! Stop chatting about beaches and fucking move! That's ridiculous. I can't I can't get Cobalt to move because he's too busy talking. Okay, uh Bonds, fight back. Fight back. How's Ohm doing? Ohm is fine. Ohm, get here, block the line, keg dentist down. You guys come up here, help us out here. Cobalt's down. Fuck, these guys were way too strong. I really underestimated this. The body's blocking open the doors. Very high tier play. Use your own people to try and uh, <laughs> try and stem things a little bit. Okay, Ohm, we're going to need some help down here, pal. I don't care about Keg Dinter. Ohm, come down. 
These children are very heavily armed. Okay, cuddles. I'm going to say search and destroy. Let's be very, very careful about letting them do that, though. You guys might as well search and destroy as well. God, this is horrible. I was not expecting them to do that much damage that fast. Kepos, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. These are one of the strongest factions. It was to be expected, though. Shit. Look at these losses. Okay, Jones, finish the job. It's the burn damage. Sure, they can deflect damage with their melee weapons. But they can't deflect burns. This faction might be our Achilles heel. I don't think even Void would... Would pose this much of a threat. They can't deflect the burn damage. That takes away our biggest... Our biggest advantage over ranged enemies. Wow! Okay, okay, back off. Ohm, rescue Cobalt. Toy Boy Roy, rescue Dawn. Shotgun Diplomacy, let's get Bonds out of there. Ciala, don't engage. Do not engage, do not engage. These guys are way, way, way too strong. Deal with Sass quickly. Sass is unarmed. Get here. I keep pressing the jump button thinking it's the bloody attack button that's driving me insane. Right, go, 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 get them. They're stealing my fist. Hey, you want a fist? Here you go. Ciala will give you a fist, all right? Punch him through the wall. These power fists are a little, um... <laughs> they're a little strange. Boom. Wow. I... I can't believe we lost two people. We should be glad. We should be glad we only lost two people. We might still potentially lose more. Ciala, who else have we got down here? Ciala and Arcadis. Ciala and Arcadis, do me a favor. Let's see if we can take one alive. Because I would really like one of those speed skin suits untainted. I'm going to give Ohm still one of the suits untainted anyway. But if we could take one prisoner. Cuddles, rescue Keg Denser. Get him out of here. Ruth. Putting out five hours. Ruth Montana. Nano suit, reactive suits. Damn. No speed skin suit. Are you good to capture though? <sighs> Not really. Not really. I'm taking your armor, Ruth. Is it, is it good? Reactive suits. They are very powerful, aren't they? The global work speed minus 40% of so their armor is like so dense and so powerful that the speed skin suits are necessary to cancel out any negative effects from that. Finish the job, Ciala. Arcadius? Do you think we can punch them? Okay, this is very dangerous. This is very, very, very unnecessarily dangerous. Go, Ciala. Get in there. Give him some help. Good punch. Okay, let's go for regular melee, though. I think we should jump over. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Come on, drop him, drop him. Damn it, kill them. That's a shame. Cobalt's bleeding out in 18. Dawn is actually okay. Bonds is fine. Oh, these burns. Oh, my. Oh, he's mangled before. That's okay. What the hell are we going to do about the burns? Heat armor is the one thing I never really thought about. It's so. It's so rare that an enemy faction will use heat damage. How do we make it so that in the future we won't get a repeat of what happened here? The second this happened. The floodgates were opened. Well, let's pick through and see if we've got any speed skin suits from that. We've got one there. Ohm, get that for us. Even though it's tainted, the 400% global work speed and plus four move speed. How can I say no to that? So I'm just going to trade a little bit of defense there with his flak suit for zippy fun whiz time. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fast now. As if he wasn't extremely fast. Anyway, let me go through and see if we've got any more of those available they are a, a rarer spawn, as you can see, but... I mean, all the ones with the speed skin suits probably got away, right? Wow, it, they're so rare. Holy crap, nothing. Oh, there's one. Okay, good. One, two, four. Oh, my God. Five. I would love to outfit the whole colony with that six. Unbelievable. I can't... We traded two people for six speedy suits. Ah. <sighs> Poor Kippos. Second generation Arcadian. A daughter of Arcadius himself. We've lost a, a, a demigod. Ciala is going to be devastated. Any of the Arcadians are going to be devastated. Bone Crusher Jones gave his life in defense of this colony. You will, you will be buried with the highest honors. Son of Bare Minimum and Fatigable. Father of Hezron. Hezron. Oh, yeah. 
Zero mood. Oh, God. Before we unleash the hauling bots, it is imperative we track down all these speed skin suits. <laughs> Ohm described beautiful people to Patrick. Ohm told a story about mm, growth to Patrick. Patrick joined Ohm's community. Honestly, Patrick, yeah, fair enough. So we've regained the colonists, but we have, of course, lost two of our core key members. Kipos being a second generation Arcadian, a daughter of Arcadius himself, gets a place in the tomb. Goodbye, Kipos. Hundreds of years you were with us, only to be cut short by one flamey boy. And then, poor Bone Crusher Jones. I'm just not happy because he's having to <laughs> haul the body around. <laughs> oh, how could I forget? So we queued up those crazy powerful barnacks at the end of yesterday, the ones that have the multiple stages. I've got to try it. So we are going to have to start working on the next generation soon, right? Because things are getting pretty bad for colony numbers. We could make these implants and assign people jobs at birth instead. So Arcadius the second's descendant will just immediately put in a crafter implant, for example. And that coupled with the school would be, I think, very, very good. Ah, if this is what I think it is, this will allow colonists to build an energy condenser that turns raw matter into small energy cubes. Now, I was told about this mod. This is Project Rim Factory Insanity. It's a very, very powerful mod. So the way this was explained to me is that you produce these EMC cubes. These allow you to produce essentially whatever it is you like from having a certain quantity of them. This might completely change, change everything about the base. I, I mean, I have to go for it. Damn it, Einstein, not again. This is a new mattress. EMC duplicator and EMC condenser. I think this building over here might make for a pretty good use of that. Let's reinstall the... Oh, I can't reinstall the bloody crematorium. Fine, we'll use the original building that we had for this colony all the way back to the tribal era as a building for producing matter from energy. That seems pretty high tier. I suppose for the time being, we'll just build one of each. I really have no idea how this thing works. We need qubit processors. Ah, uh, can we even make qubit processors? I want to stay I core. Maybe there's a machine that I have missed. Whoa, mecha prosthetics lab. I have a feeling I didn't build one of those. Oh, hey, look at that. Mecha brain, mecha spine. Wow, that's quite powerful. Only 100% efficiency, but it gives a bunch of bonuses instead. That's a weird way to go about it. Mecha leg, 170% move speed. Wow, that's very powerful. Aha, uh -huh, here you go. Cosmos tech everything. Whoa. I wonder if the legs follow the same rule, because it actually says on the brain needs four stages to reach peak max efficiency. I wonder if the legs follow the similar... Well, let's experiment. We've got some new people to try out on, eh? <laughs> to be honest, they're not a bad value for bionics anyway. 70 steel and five advanced components. Digital storage unit. How I've missed you, digital storage unit. This is... This is like a whole new era for the colony. An era of digital shit. Memes. It's an era of memes. Now all we have to do is wait the five to six hours for the Hall and Bots to transfer absolutely everything over. Nice. There we go. That's the first step down. Now we've got to place IO ports basically everywhere anybody can craft anything so it's immediately dropped into the machine. Oh, it'll work super well for... Oh. Oh, I never did turn it off, did I? <laughs> then I'm going to build another one for corpses so that we can put an IO port near the kill box and have all of the corpses dumped in there and then spat back out near the crematorium. And then this one I'm going to use for chunks, I think. That way we can fuel the beta poly farm a little bit better. We're going to need to make a huge order for advanced machine frames and weak AI chips. So while we're sorting out digitizing the entire base, I want to work out why our two new colonists aren't putting in any bloody work. The colonists formerly known as Patrick and whatever her name was before, we now Fendel, Dorp, and Gammon. Uh, Gammon Gammon is so good. What's wrong with you? You're missing a foot and you're missing a toe. Ah, uh, alcohol withdrawal also gives minus 20%, right? Yeah, okay, so let's... Well, let's get some barnics installed. We have a whole rack of barnics right next to the guy. It's pretty cruel that we've just got legs on display that we're not actually giving to him. Fendeldor, what the hell's wrong with you? Burn scar on your eye, left arm. Oh, you, you haven't got any legs. Well, that's fair. <laughs> that's that's actually reasonable. This seems like the perfect way to test our Cosmos tech, see if they do get better over time. And then for Gammon, for you, my friend, I have some I have some hover feet you can have. Oh, and for three glitter world medicine, we can cure the burn. I mean, I'm not going to do that. We can just pull our eye out, but that's quite nice to know. Now, we could install the Cosmos tech brain into Ciala. Right now, her, her natural brain 
four out of 12. Two thirds of it is missing. Mango destroyed. We could give her this. I worried that she would lose the Architect Cortex, but to be honest, I, I, I think it would make a better overall. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping she keeps the Cortex. If not, doesn't really matter. I do think she'll be better for it. Okay, so she's lost it, but look, there we go. Cosmos Tech Brain connected. Oh, cool. And it said it had four stages, but that's already at 100% efficiency. Wow, Ciala just might end up being the most powerful brain out of everybody in the colony. Biggest, wrinkliest brain, Ciala. Boy boy, Roy Pepper Stacy, so I've been here training up in medical. He's got double passion in medical, so 14.16 at the age of 18. That's pretty nice. How's everyone else doing with their training? 15 melee, 23 melee, 23, 18, 17, 20. It might be a good idea to maybe set up each workstation with a different skill. That way, when they've got nothing else to do, they can basically just train whatever skill is free on the console. We'll just stick to useful ones, though. So I think growing is always going to be relevant. Medicine would be pretty nice to train everybody up in that. Melee is pretty good. Mining is now handled by robots, so we don't have to worry about that. Intellectual is handled by ohm. Shooting is relevant. Social would be good, too. Here's an idea. Why don't we limit the skills at which they're allowed to use it? Will that, will that stop you? Okay, okay. so let's say, uh, who has 23 melee? So you have 23. Despite the fact the limitation is obviously up to 20, I think that is essentially just unlimited. So why don't we set that to 19? Maybe you'll stop after that, and they can start training up another skill. Okay, this is perfect. So in order of how useful skills are, 20 melee, I think is, or 19 melee, because that's Unfortunately, the limiter will have to do on it. I think it's really important. Yeah, I think that works. So in skill order, they're going to train up to 19 melee. Then after that, go to medicine. Then after that, go to social, growing, construction, cooking, our uh, animals. I thought it better to have something on there than nothing, right? Because this is the final job out of everything they'll do. After that, they'll just walk around idle. So that I think is fairly useful. Some skills I just haven't even bothered with. Like I said, mining is handled by robots. Shooting is completely irrelevant. Intellectual ohms got that pretty much covered. And then if we have a child born with a specific set of passions or skills, we can just have that child learn from a specific console. For example, having the medical console in the medical lab just makes sense. We could have a cooking station in the kitchen or a crafting station in the crafting area. I think this is the right play anyway, because the difference between, say, someone having 20 and 21 melee is, is barely anything, right? But the amount of skill necessary to increase each skill beyond 20 is exponential. So it would be better to have a really crap medical character getting good at medical than it would be to have them, you know, go up to 25 melee, for example. Oh, God, we're completely out of plasteel. Okay, well, forget what I just said about not needing to mine. We're going to have to throw down a really, really basic mine here. Bone mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, this one's for you, Arcadius. And then I'm just gonna get home to sit there in the old bone mine. Just, just chipping away. A baby. A little baby. Chemical fascination. Sure. Yeah, why not? Ah, female descendant. Damn. Obviously, they get married, they're gonna have the name replaced. Also, what the hell do you mean? Affair. <gasps> Dawn tried to romance Ohm by drawing attention to her own forehead. <laughs> Ohm became aroused. That's... That's horrible. That's actually horrible. Dawn married to Bon Sabat has begun an affair with Ohm. Wow. Oh, well, hello, Fendeldorp. I guess the surgery worked then? Yeah, perfect. Oh, look at that. Cosmos Tech like does have the installed modifier. I wonder then if it will get better and better and better. Why don't we check on Ciala? Because she had the Cosmos Brain. It still is just connected. Do we have to install another brain? Turns out this is going to take absolutely ages. Really just an insane amount of time. <laughs> but in the meantime, look at this. Advanced algorithms to create AIs or reprogram them. AI manufacturing and reprogramming is done at the Mechanite assembly table. This will allow us to build persona cores, but with those persona cores, we can then build serums. Potentially, even... Resurrect mech serums. Hey, more new colonists. Well, potentially. Snowdog and shotgun diplomacy. Attracted her by exaggerating his own sense of responsibility. That is, uh, that is Snowdog, Bon Sabat, and shotgun diplomacy, Pepper Stasius. I mean, obviously. Poor Fendeldorp. The only way we can make this viable is maybe a Joywire? Oh, even then, she's still got minus 50. I mean, look, it's better than nothing, right? Oh, and the hyperregulator is given minus 15% mental break threshold. Oh, thank God. Finally, we can play the game again. So these things are really cool. Not only can you throw in, well, basically anything to be mined, but you can also, if you've got extra power, overclock them for 300% speed. 
So, I mean, if there's one thing we've got right now, it's excess power. And for whatever reason, the game thinks here we've got 3,357 steel. On this menu, it says we've got 2,267. And when I click it, it says 1,188. <laughs> so I have no idea. I have no idea where it thinks all this steel is from. Yeah, what the hell's going on with that? Oh, it doesn't really matter. We'll just say mine... 5,000 steel or something like that. Uh, that should cover it. And 300%. We'll go for a modest 2,500 plus steel with this one. Oh, you fools. What are they? They've just brought a load of Jagoth Gurs into the colony? I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> Why are they immune to it? That's ridiculous. Well, thanks for that. Three of our colonists have just been driven completely mad. A lot with Vanimetrics. Resurrect a mech serum. One day, little stroopers. One day, we'll bring you back. I mean, I should point out, of course, we're not going to resurrect everybody. There's no point resurrecting somebody who dies of old age. Otherwise, they'll just die of old age again, right? But for characters who were killed early, like stroopers who have those long lifespans, this is, this is going to be great. And I think it more than makes up for the fact that Ohm's magic powers are a bit shit. <laughs> God, it really is all just guns at this stage. We're going to have to bite the bullet and just go for them. Gorse weaponry. Get out of the way. At this point, I'm locking him in. You're not coming out until Stroopress is back. Ah, oh, there you go. The numbers will be back up in no time. Oh, and that reminds me. Sorry, Ciala. It's just game mechanics. Oh, congrats, Arcadius the second. Wait, hang on. No, she needs to rest now. We don't need to do that anymore. It was only because she had the Architect Cortex that we had to worry about the artificial impregnation anyway. We don't need to worry about it. I can save my extremely valuable Glutatech medicine. Nanotech Hydroponics. How are we doing for food right now? We're still doing fine. It's all guns. Oh, I mean, landmines aren't guns. I think landmines would work on Void. I mean, I think the walls can probably take the hit. Fuck it, why not? It's all shit parts. We can't be done with space already. I feel like we've barely just started. Oh, well, I mean, look, there isn't a huge amount of space of stuff. Especially not compared to... Uh, Industrial. We have all of these here. Raw protein extraction. I had no idea that led to all of the organ engineering. Damn it. Okay, next time that comes up, we have to go for it. So we'll just go machine persuasion for now. <laughs> the art machine. How can I not take the art machine? You know, I think it's time we move away from from our flak equipment and go for a different armor set. All of our flak gear was built out of adamantium. And adamantium just requires so many raw resources to get it going. It's going to clog up our drills and our miners. I guess we'll just take a look through and see what else we can make at this stage. I mean, look at the amount of shit we can actually craft. I'm sure we'll find something. Void helmet and paint it gold. <laughs> if that works, that would be so, so high tier. You can't make the void armors, the uh, uh, reactive suits and things like that. Wow, that'd be really funny. I'm going to have to craft one and just see if we can paint it before we commit to that. There is actually just so much stuff to craft. It's staggering. I think we're just going to have to go by whatever it says in the weapons tab. So in terms of craftable apparel, sorting by... I think we're just focus on sharp protection for now. The industrial power armor is way ahead. I still cannot believe that that warlord armor is up there. That's insane. Void armor, not void void armor, but void armor is basically the best set that we can make right now. Steel Warlord Armor, sure, it's stuffable. If you remember, that stuff took like 10,000 work. Even with Ohm's Speed Skin suit, it's too much of a commitment. The Void Armor, though, yeah, I mean, we could do that. That's uh, Antimatter, I believe. Void versus Void. Yeah, there we are. Void Armor. Five advanced components, 60 antimatter composite, 10 gold, and 25 uranium. That's not really that expensive. And we haven't exactly used antimatter composite for much recently. I imagine we've got quite a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we do have a quite a lot. First things first, though. I have to try making the regular Void gear. Just imagining the look on Void's face when they turn up to come and fight us for the first time ever. And they see us dressed in their armor, but it's painted like bright pink. Perfect. Give me like a nice bright pink. Oh, yeah. Let's go like hot pink. God, I hope this works. Oh. That's such a shame. Well, that's okay. We'll make regular void armor. Not void void armor, but regular void armor. And then we'll paint that hot pink instead. And then we'll just tell them that we're the real void. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. All the flat gear, like I said, is fantastic. It's massive armor value. But at this point in the game, A, we can still be killed with it. Because they've got crazy armor penetration weapons that do burning damage. And B, it would clog up all of our miners. And we have to go through all of the effort to actually make the adamantium from the five different composites. Raw protein extraction. There we go. Now, I don't remember which of the three great houses we were going to make into the bio monsters. It's house... Gravy Plasma, right? Yeah, Captain Cuba. Gravy Plasma Patriarch. Is there any other living Gravy Plasmas right now? Or is it just down to... Oh, yeah, shit. So, it's either... We, we find a way to resurrect him. We could always try 
Dare I say it, Ohm's magic resurrect powers again. I'm going to give it one last attempt. If it doesn't work, we will pick another dynasty to ascend up to the horrible fleshy beast monster. So we're going to go total meditation schedule for that. And because he's got a speed skin suit, he can meditate 400% faster. Okay, fifth time's the charm. We better actually wake up this time. This is driving me insane. Oh! He's back. Holy shit, it actually worked this time. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he's back, but he sure as hell wishes he wasn't. Before anything else happens, this is the final living, quote unquote, member of House Gravy Plasma. Woo woo. I'm sorry, you've been chosen. We don't have any glitter set medicine. We actually just can't do it. We're just gonna have to wait and hope that somebody falls in love with Captain Cuba 5 in Gravy Plasma. And I mean, who couldn't love that horrible zombie face covered in psychic burns from head to toe oh look Siala's brain is now integrated gives a bonus to consciousness rest rate multiplier at global learning speed it does seem like the base efficiency doesn't change though now who did i give those legs to it was was fendeldorp fixed oh so it's it's stuck at 85 percent efficiency i guess it increases up to 100 percent efficiency with these right also, I can't help but notice everything seems to have stopped. Yeah, I thought that might happen. Slavers. Uh, doesn't look as if compressed raids is working. Something gives me that impression. <laughs> I mean, this would probably be quite easy, right? 51 dogs? That's an incredible amount of dogs. Oh my god, hang on. We did build a couple of the landmines. Well. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Go on, then. Wow. They actually tanked that way more than I thought they would. Holy crap. Really does make you wonder what sort of shitty landmines our people have crafted. They're all coming from the same direction, so we might as well just go and reinforce over here, I guess. Maybe get some get some backup. Or not. Or they've decided to go around the other way. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> just get you repositioned again. I can't believe that a single landmine didn't take out one dog. That's ridiculous. What sort of dogs are these? Or what sort of landmines are they? Might be a better question. Don't go down the middle. You wouldn't do it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, Cobalt, hold the line. I'm sure you can manage. You just punched him right through the... That's that's not helpful. Are they genuinely trying to mine through antimatter? Well, good luck with that one. Don't be a hero. You absolute fucking idiot. That was long enough to get the doors open, eh? I... I hate you. Well, you might as well do something useful then. Go on. Kapow! Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, well, it's all gone to shit. There's one colonist couldn't stay away. Brilliant. I'll be honest. I think we'll probably be fine. Uh... Ah. Uh -huh. Tribal Raiders? Yeah, no, this is this is not okay. They're going. They're, they're fleeing. They're fleeing. Okay, okay, okay. What the hell do we do about the next group? Because the next group are all psychic. Boy, I really love that I can't control these fucking colonists at all because they keep jetpacking away. Morons. They're actually just going to get themselves killed and I can't stop them. Fuck off. So I'll just set everybody to ignore. That's fine. There we go. Right, now, if you could actually, like... Ignore. They still... I, I actually can't stop them chasing these people down. Jump pack spines. I was so happy with you. I was so pleased when we first got these jump pack spines. But this is going to get our people killed. Ugh! What are you talking about? This is supposed to be Phoebe Chillax. Oh. Oh, that's not Phoebe Chillax at all. Well, <laughs> never mind. Ah. Uh. Who are you people? Just a random... Maybe they'll fight the tribal nation and then we can survive for another day. Where are they building? I wonder if we could send someone over, like send a single person over to jetpack, smash up the mortar, get them to assault, have them fight one another. Could work. Okay, special agent Ciala, no pressure. But I do need you to smash some stuff up. Okay, that's the mortar dealt with. Uh, maybe jump away, maybe jump away, maybe jump away. Oh! Okay, we need to start. We need to let them stop. No, 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 stop. We need to let them start building the mortar. 
Then when they start building the mortar, we can get in there and smash it to bits. This isn't going to work. We're not going to have enough time. These guys are already coming in. What are we going to do? What the hell am I supposed to do here? Uh, go shut the door. Maybe they'll just go after Ciala instead. Which obviously isn't ideal, because... Well, it's Ciala. Who the fuck is that? Hello? Someone go and escort this man out of the base. What the... Stay away! Door? Thank you. Oh god, at long last. Something's on fire. Smashed up my bone mine. Holy shit, it actually worked. It actually worked. I think... These guys are gonna annihilate these guys. But we'll see. We'll see. Right, so see how I jump over here. Fast. Okay. All we have to do is get them some meat in the middle. Just get them some meat in the middle. And then Ciala can go through the secret entrance. That might do it. That might do it. Okay. Okay. Big brain plays. And we send Ciala back through the other entrance. Are you fucking joking? <sighs> okay. Sure. Why not? Those are commandos again. <laughs> oh my god. How are we supposed to deal with this? What on earth? <laughs> ah, maybe not quite as invincible as I uh, was hoping, eh? Okay, yeah, I think we, I think we maybe stand you there. You punch as they come around the corner. That might work. What the hell's going on up here? Yeah, I, I, th I think the, uh, the, the, the. I think these guys are doomed. I think they're doomed. Maybe we get the commanders to retreat, and as they run through the base, they might punch the other guys. Oh my god, we need to be careful. We aren't immediately killed here. Just go search and destroy. Except for you. Leave that door alone. Let him smash that bedroom up for all I care. Arcadius, fucking do something. They've taken apart the bedrooms? We were very fortunate that we were able to get on top of these guys before they popped out their drop pods. Okay, here we go, here we go. That's it, that's it. Get him in the freezer. Go! Nice work, nice work. There's one there. Our people are getting peppered. They really, really are not in a good place. Nice work, nice work, nice work. There we go. What the fuck is going on here? Siala? you cannot fight all of these psychic people by yourself. That is obscene. That's very silly. Fuck. Okay, get through there. Get through there. Where did Siala just go? She was just pulled. Psychic pull. Ciala may be dead. I'm sorry to say it. Ciala may be dead. We can't have our people on auto attack. Otherwise, the spines constantly keep them in a loop of jumping. I can't set them to search and destroy. Otherwise, we'll get another Ciala situation. I'm going to have to sit here and micromanage every single person's attack. Which is not okay, actually. <laughs> is that the commandos dealt with, though? Are we good? I think the commandos are dead. This is still... This is still hell. I knew it. I knew it was going to happen. We are not invincible. We are so far from invincible. You see these stats. You see the, the, the crazy armor values that we've got. And it... It's so... Different to the reality of it. Oh my god. They destroyed her head. With a longbow. With a longbow. With a longbow by the way. The Marines really did give them a run for their money, though. I'm actually very impressed. There is still 105 Raiders, though. <laughs> While they're distracted, Arcadius' second is going to dash out and grab Ciala, and then he's going to fucking run fast. What about our people who are downed? Thundledorp is okay. Uwu is also okay. Susumu is also fine. They're overloading their heat levels, though. Look. This might give us everything we need to deal with them. They're spending all their psychic powers on the wrong people. Ohm. Fucking Ohm. Every single time he goes into psychic breakdown, shit like this happens. <laughs> the tribals have won. They've absolutely destroyed the Marines. Wow. And now we take our last 12 fighters. Oh, what happened to Gammon Gammon? Gammon, Gammon, what happened? Luckily, I left Amphisa in the base because she's incapable of violent.
<sighs> I mean, luckily, those guys have very little going for them. They have void gear. They're, they're just random pirates. These are void defectors. That's a marine. Are we seeing inquisitors? Pirates are all just completely random bands of pirates. Maybe they'll kill the tribal raiders. I fucking hope they do. Yes! This is high tier. I'm not sure if the pirates were a bad thing in hindsight. I'll be honest. I'm not sure I know what's going on anymore. Are you winning, son? It's not a fucking chimpanzee at all. That's an 11 year old child. <gasps> they dug straight through the fucking mountain. They went straight through the mountain. They're stealing my statue. My Beta Poly statue. And I can't even get our people to focus on taking out the statue carrier because they've got the fucking jetpacks. Wow, I, this has gone so wrong. This has gone so fucking wrong. Not a fucking again. How did you even die? Died from psychic resurrection? Oh my god, the tribes people are fleeing. And they're stealing what they can and leaving. What the hell has happened? Gammon is gone. I, oh. I... I have no words. I have no words. Even with everything we've got, all of the other factions are more powerful than us. Our 200% defense armor, 80 DPS melee weapons, makes no difference. We all die in the end. Three more people lost. Four more people lost. Siala, Amaya, Gammon, Captain Cuba, 17 people left. This might be the lowest the colony has been since the since the medieval times. Tomorrow, we tear it all down. These golden beds, the luxury armchairs, it all goes. When we can't defend ourselves, we can't we can't have these luxuries. 2.7 million total wealth. And the best we could put up was some flak armor and some power fists. I'm going to embrace it. Even now, I was holding back on some of the crazy overpowered stuff. It's nice to have a challenge. It is not nice to be repeatedly killed over and over and over again. Let's give in to the absurd. Let's build the super overpowered armors. Let's build a room full of plasma drills churning out more resources than we could ever need. Let's give everyone 400% efficiency bionics. We've got a few more speed skin suits. And whenever Rome gets back, we can start to rebuild. But I think we're going to go... I think we're going to have to go crazy with things. It's the only way we're going to possibly survive. This is, this is the start. This is the start of a whole new era. Vengeance. Just vengeance. I will kill Void. No. I will fist Void. <laughs> oh, um, what are you going to think when you wake up? Tomorrow is going to be one hell of a rebuild. The biggest rebuild I think I'm probably ever going to end up doing in Remod. We, we need to... We need to stop this ever happening again. Thank you in the meantime, of course, to the patrons, without which we wouldn't have time to tear down this entire castle. Thank you to Blank, Ethox, Dranmere, Viva La Fight Me, Poised As Fuck, Hoopy, Sabat, Sign Mortar, TG Taps, Lupus, Chaos Undying, Jack Black Sheep, El Chalupa Cabra, Darth Hawk, and Ziggy171 for their support of the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible in the first place. Thank you as well to Marcel, Flight Gamer, Proximity Jones, Duke, Cody Cope, Francesco R, Sturmcrow, Rave Pirate, Jordan, Bilbo Fraggins, Adam S, Canopus, Probe, Epilogue, Brennick, and Matteo. 